I'm going to be walking from Blackpool to Cleethorpes, taking in eight Ballantyne clubs, um, walking 200 miles starting on the 13th of August. I'm walking in aid of Ella Stanloss Syndrome Support UK. I did a walk from Leeds to London uh, a couple of months ago and we managed to get a petition going and we got a response from government with 10,000 signatures and the, the response from government was not great so I decided to walk again to try and generate some more signatures for the petition. We need 100,000 to try and get a formal debate in Parliament. Ellis Danlos syndrome um, is multi-complex. It um, affects multi-systems in the body. So you have gastroenterology problems, you can have gynecology problems, all sorts. You think of every system in your body, it can affect it. It is the collagen that affects the whole of the body system. Um, everybody is different that has EDS, how they, they struggle with it, how their symptoms project. Even in the same family, um, people have different sort of traits of the condition. So it's taken 44 years for Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome to be diagnosed in myself. And I just thought, how can we let people know about it? So the rock I'm holding up now is one that I've specifically designed for Bannertine. So we've even got the logo on, I'm really proud of that. Um, these have gone worldwide. Um, I've got the people that are painting them, we've hidden them in the UK, we've hidden them abroad and basically it gives information on the back regarding our Facebook page, the Instagram page um, and more so now the petition link as well. In my case it's affected me neurologically and it's becoming worse as I've got older. So I have issues with my spine, uh, which is now becoming quite problematic, but it can affect the gut and things like that. So it's, it's gone under the radar, um, but actually it's very common and it's, it can give you hypermobility in a lot of the joints. So in my case, my ankles are strapped and my pelvis is now strapped um, to try and keep the body held together. I, d I didn't really know about EDS until I met Fran. It's been fantastic to have the opportunity of speaking to her about this and knowing that it affects so many people, I think it's great she's trying to put this in a wider perspective and get more people to understand it.